Let's go camping. What is going on you guys? Today we are going moto camping. Um, I've only camped alone one time this summer so far and by this time last year I would have already slept in the dirt like 15 times <laughs> if not more. So um, yeah I'm just going like 60 miles from the house today and going camping at this really rad campsite up near the Continental Divide. We are currently in Central City. It's kind of like the southern terminus of the Peak to Peak Highway, which is what that campground is off of. Um, I've never stopped here before, so I just felt like kind of riding through town and checking it out. It's like an old mining town um, that basically has turned into a bunch of little shops and like casinos. So I figured I'd just stop here and then hit the road and do a little intro kind of thing and tell you all what we're doing. So let's go. Have known better but here we are um everything i got to eat for the next 24 hours cost me about 17 dollars um and it would have cost me probably nine dollars in denver so before you come to the mountains you should probably stock up on food unless you just don't care but everything was double the price here <laughs> <Should Enjoy. laughs> thank you Huh? Are you hiking tomorrow? Yeah, Where? in the morning. I'm gonna do Isabel out towards the glacier. Isabel? Okay. It's, my wife and I work up at the trailheads. Okay. She, you'll see her in the morning. Oh, cool. She's at the Long Lake Trailhead. Cool. <laughs> see ya. We're headed on a nice little sunset hike out to Brainerd Lake. I'll do as much of this loop as I can. I think I got like an hour and a half, but should be a cute little sunset. Um, I'm stoked. I'm also very out of breath because we are at 10,000 something feet. I don't know, there's a sign up here, I'll tell you. <laughs> This is gonna be such a good sunset. 
I cannot wait. And it's gonna go down right between the saddle here up in the mountain. Oh, it's gonna be so pretty. This is such a cool campground. I've always been told this is like one of those campgrounds that like you have to go to in Colorado, but I've never been. But so dinner tonight, I guess we'll focus on that. I'm gonna have me a noon tablet. I'm gonna have me a hot chalky. And then I'm gonna keep it real basic probably and just have this chicorina soup. Sounded fun, so I got it. Um, but yeah. I didn't get all the ingredients I wanted at the grocery store. I wanted to make this super fancy meal at camp, but since I left late, I knew my whole day was gonna be like three sheets to the wind, basically. So yeah, we're keeping it super, super chill. Um, and to just continue with my mess, I also pulled my hair tie out of my hair on the trail. And of course I don't have any. <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing this quite literally all day tomorrow on the trail. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I try and make like just one giant braid. We'll see what happens. Let's well, try one of these out. These little beef and bacons that I got earlier. It's a good meat steak. It is 5.48 in the morning on Thursday, July 8th, 2021. Oh man, it's not pretty good considering we're at 10,000 plus feet in elevation. <laughs> um, but it's time to get up, pack a couple things up really quick to go on this hike, and then hit the trail. So let's go. so cool to see the like game trails going out to the lake. I just wish there was a moose at the end of the trail and it wasn't just a game trail, but <sighs> fingers crossed we get lucky and see one somewhere. Even if it's a baby and a mom. The bull moose are huge though. Those ones are the ones to see. Wow. Right, <laughs> but I made it. 
think I'm gonna go hike over those rocks and chill for a bit. that I could stay here all day but I have two two and a half miles to hike and an hour and a half <laughs> back to camp and to pack camp up and get out before the so I guess I should go do that Mission complete. Now it is for real time to go pack up camp <laughs> and get out of here and go eat more food. <laughs> place called Tin Shed. It looks like a mountain bike kind of spot. But when I looked online, they had like a coffee bar in the back that's supposed to have decent food. So we're gonna go check it out. sat down and ordered the breakfast burrito, I just completely crashed. I checked my um, steps app or whatever in my iPhone and it said I walked eight miles this morning and I believe it. I am exhausted and I did three miles yesterday about. So I think that means it's time to go home. <laughs> but hope you guys enjoyed this little solo motorcycle camping adventure. Um, let me know what you thought about it and I definitely want to do more videos like this. It was fun. So. I don't do a lot of uh, like solo camping really close to the house, as y'all know. I'm usually like on a big trip. I usually don't go somewhere that's within like half a day of my house. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. Um, I'm gonna start heading back home, so like an hour from the house. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Leave some comments down below. Be sure to subscribe. You know all that fun stuff. And I will see y'all on the road later, y'all.